right, what's up guys? Welcome to a brand new mini series I'm gonna be doing on my channel, basically walking you guys through how to use PK Hex to make your gen mods look legitimate, as well as pass Nintendo or Game Freak's hack check. Each of these videos will be assuming that you already have access to a homebrew 3DS because I will not be walking you guys through how to homebrew your 3DS. Because I do not want to be responsible if you guys mess up and break your 3DS. So Joe Door makes a bunch of tutorials on how to access homebrew and uh, I'll leave a few of those videos in the description of this video. These videos are basically meant for educational purposes for my friends who are having trouble ginning their mons. And uh, I know Pokemon ginning is a hot button topic in the community right now. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of hate in the comment section, but uh, I really don't care. Alright guys, and welcome back to video number 5, I believe, of the PK Hex series. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to gen the legendary mons from the 6th generation. So, Game Freak definitely gifted us a lot in the 6th generation. They made the vast majority of the legendary mons available between X and Y having the legendary birds and Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire pretty much having everything else minus Mew. Um, so between X and Y and Oris, most of the old legendaries are available now. So for this example, we are going to be ginning a Lugia. So like I said before in my 7th gen legendary video, you have to make sure that every single detail is correct. So for this example, like I said, we're doing Lugia. And once again, you can because you catch it in a Pokeball, you can actually name it whatever you want. Um, for this example, we're going to name it whatever. Lugia is actually caught at level 50, I believe. So you can change the level to 50 or 100, whatever fits you. Um, for the nature, we can go with anything. Uh, bold nature, it works fine. Held item, we'll just go with leftovers. Again, you can give it whatever you want. Friendship, you can max it out. You can leave it at zero, whatever the hell you want. We'll give it Pokerus. And then here you just enter where you're from. And then this 3DS subregion, which is basically where your 3DS is from. I'm from America. All right, so Met. Now Lugia is a special case because Lugia is actually a uh, version exclusive with Ho-Oh. Ho-Oh is available in uh, Omega Ruby. Lugia is available in Alpha Sapphire. So because we're doing Lugia, Alpha Sapphire is the game. Met location is going to be C Malville. Caught it. Basically here you can just choose whatever Pokeball you want to catch it in. We'll go with an Ultra Ball. Um, met level I believe is 50 like I said before. And met date you can leave that as today's date. Um, Fateful Encounter you don't have to worry about and you do not have to make it look like it's from an egg because obviously Lugia is not breedable so leave that alone as well. Next are stats and you can give it whatever stats you want. Zero being the worst, 31 being the best. Um, and yeah, just make sure it won't let you go over the 510 uh, threshold without it being illegitimate. It has to be at the five. It has to be 510 or under for it to be legitimate. And you can see that here. Um, again, you can give it whatever hidden power you want. Um, just make sure if you do hidden power, press Control and click, and uh, hyper train the stats. That way you don't lose any points over here. So. Oh, and also I forgot to mention in the earlier video. Um, if you do hyper train, make sure your Mon is level 100. That way it's legit. Because you cannot hyper train in game unless your Pokemon is level 100. So I forgot to specify that earlier, but I'm specifying it now. So we're done with stats. Let's move on to attacks. Um, I'm actually not even sure what Lugia learns. So we're just going to go with like Hydro Pump. Oops, I, I missed a D there. <laughs> um, Aeroblast. Ah, oh God, fly, and we'll go with surf. Now, obviously, this is not a competitive move set; it's just an example, guys. Um, and relearn moves, you don't even have to touch that. Um, for here, you can just leave the TID and SID alone. Um, that's just the default, and you can change the OT to wherever you want. Let's just name it John, I guess. Um, it could be your name, whatever. <laughs> it literally doesn't matter. And then the latest not OT handler is going to be whatever your Pokemon Sun and Moon name is. So mine is Chad. Um, extra Bites, you can leave that alone. Memories, you can leave that alone. Medals and Ribbons, you can leave that alone. 
just click reroll and as you can see we got the check mark there meaning this Lugia is legit and reroll the PID and then you can make it shiny even if you want to so as you can see here we, we uh, checked its legality it is legal and that is <laughs> that is pretty much it guys that is how you gen the mons the legendary mons from the sixth generation X and Y and Pokemon Auris very simple you just have to know the met level met location and obviously don't give it some wacky move set <laughs> so that's pretty much it guys if you need any help hit me up in the comments i'll be glad to help you i love you guys i'm gonna get out of here peace out <sighs> i keep forgetting i swear um so basically when you're done ginning all you have to do is right click and click set and now you have a lugia in your box